We'll start you now. You just said not to And now. And out. now. It's you on. just go and in now. three, two, one. And you're on. Pew, pew, pew. Happy Action. birthday, Drew. Oh, the birthday edition. Oh. I guess. Well, I the, think I recorded an episode last I week. I was not birthday. expecting that. The birthday edition of Pew Pew Audio. Yeah, let me do my intro. Dudes with Drews. Dudes with Drews. <laughs> Dudes with Drews. Can you Craft call- Brews, Casual Conversations. My guests are Casey, Candace, lovers, significant others, spouses, parents, two sexy individuals. <laughs> We're going to be drinking. Not the first time we've been called that. We're going to be drinking Which? IPA. And this is Dudes with Brews on a porch. Then it goes. Hmm, looks like it's time to dive into another great beverage. It's dudes with brews on a porch. Let's check in with our friend Drew for this week's episode. Who will he talk to? What will they talk about? And what will they drink? What are you waiting for? Get your ass off the lawn and come onto the porch. It's dudes with brews. And this, where we edit a little bit? Woo, woo, woo. Right. Yeah. Dudes with Drews. I, on a porch. There's only one Drew, though, involved Drew's in it. With, Drew with dudes on the porch. So we're drinking a local beer from uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We're going to be drinking the Mobcraft Cherry Andromeda. And you know what? It's from the darkest depths of the universe. Comes this dangerously delicious IPA featuring toasted coconut, lactose, sweet dark cherries, and galaxy hops. What does this mean? It's from Oshkosh. Like, because Mobcast... Oh, I'm sorry. Milwaukee. Does It, say, it says Oshkosh on there, though. It's, well, it's got a guy's name. It says Oshkosh. Uh, Maybe I don't know. it was his idea. But Mobcraft, Mobcraft is, from, is like, in Milwaukee. I think it's Madison. Milwaukee, according to the, the Untapped oh, is it? app, which you can follow me. Okay. Well, I cool knew, phone at Dudes around. with Brews. Thank you. All right. Maybe I made a mistake. But, but yeah, still... It is my birthday. It does say Oshkosh. Cheers, Cheers to, to all birthday. the years. Yeah, it's, you can smell the cherry. How many years have you been alive? 28. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm like a decade I'm older 30. than you. Whatever. I don't even care about that. I can't believe you're still in your 20s. You're like a baby. Thank you. I your voice be... is still changing, <clears throat> so that's good. 7.3% ABVs and 55 in the IBUs. What do you think? It's mild. I don't... Yeah, it's, it's mild really, for an IPA. Yeah, it's really mild. What do you think? Do you get that any cherry or, or lactose at all? I don't, what the hell no. does lactose taste like? Milk? No, yeah. It gives it more like a, like a <laughs> like creamier, a creamier flavor. kind of a flavor. I don't get that, though. Nope. I don't, I don't even get the I'll coconut. I'll tell you what, I get none of the flavors, but it definitely looks cherry, so yeah, I feel like I'm being fooled. Cherry. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's it's got aspects. It's a little bit hoppy, mm-hmm. but not like it nothing crazy. It smells more fruity than it tastes. Yeah. Smell it. Mm-hmm. It's very aromatic. Okay. It well, doesn't taste as... I thought it was cool just because it had like galaxy hops. It's hops from the galaxy. Yeah, they did go. You're up a again. galaxy fan. I like uh, I like the galaxy. I like aliens and stuff. Intergalactic. What is your favorite stuff? galaxy? Yeah, what's your favorite galaxy? I mean, of all of them, I you know, if you had to pick one, the Andromeda Galaxy. Of oh, course, that's a nice one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I like the Milky Way. The mil- you know, I am only familiar with the Milky Way. <laughs> Me too. I have no other options. The candy to go bar for. and uh, the. What you call it? The candy bar and the place you live in. Yeah, yes. yeah. I gotta put my phone. Pew pew phone. pew. Well, happy birthday! What are your birthday celebrations? What are you gonna do? I'm going to Milwaukee. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to Milwaukee after this, and then uh, tomorrow morning I'm running a half marathon. Will you be eating cake tonight? I already ate cake. Already? Ate... Yeah. Yesterday? I can, I can, no, today I can eat when I want. Yeah. I worked I last night. You were a grown up. Candy's got very strict rules about, like, sweets and stuff. You gotta eat them after dinner. Yeah, but we're adults. Well, what happens when you work all night? And that could have been my dinner. Yeah. It's okay. I have no answer for that question. I work third shift. The rules are reversed. Yeah. That's true. Breakfast is dinner. It's Dinner is breakfast. Desserts are right. <laughs> Desserts. Whenever I feel like having a dessert. Yeah. Game on. If I want to treat, I'll treat myself, I don't think damn I it. Could, I don't think I could live like that. Why? I'm too, like, structured. I don't think I could work a third shift job because that would really throw off my eating patterns. Is my wife here? She might be. Uh, no, there's a loose dog in the neighborhood. In our what dog. does she look oh, like? Right. I'm gonna have to she just looks out. like a person. But She looks like a person? Right. Does she have hair? Yep. I thought I heard some knocking. Hair. She might be here. She might be. Let's put this on pause real quick. All right, the wife delivered my running shoes and the mixer that we're not going to use because we're using your microphone. So, Candace, you dabbled into your first uh, radio experience live. How'd that go? 
It was off the hook awesome. Off I can't wait hook. to do it again. That was so much fun. Yeah, you're... I'm going to be super famous, so... You already listening. are. Yeah. You're I'm s- half famous. Half I'm Downtown Ripper, as my boss TD likes to call me. Downtown Ripper. What, you know, a, been watching... what a unique name. I know. Wow. <laughs> Creative. Well, how about Downtown Candy Brown? Ooh, that's I what like I want to be. Downtown Candy Brown. See? I know. I that's mean, what I was thinking of. Like, I need like I need a more like radio name. Like my my name Candace doesn't really work anybody, for radio. Any name does. It doesn't can, matter what your name is. You can make it whatever you want. Okay, so T D Terry Davis. That's not Terry's name. Yeah. Wheels isn't right. Wheels's name. Biggie isn't it Biggie's name. Geo, like he's got he a nickname. By, he goes by Greg. Yeah, but like you know, my old pal Geo, when people are like talking about my radio him, name ready. was Drew. Who's Geo? Greg, Greg Owens. Owens so. Yeah. Yeah. All local people that know one listening to this program know who they are. You could just be Candy Apple. Candy, yeah, what, a good radio name, Candy Apple, or I, don't I like know. Downtown Candy Brown. Downtown Candy Brown. There yeah. you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could be like Hot Dog Robbie Brown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Hot Why Dog do Robbie hot dog? Brown. Because he, he dressed up in a hot do hot dog suit. So he for called for what? For broad fry. <laughs> so we just call him Hot Dog Ra- Robbie Brown. So he lost his bride some time ago. Yeah. That is wild to me that he did that. So I would sc- never. So school's in session. Back of that uh, thing. You, so you have yeah. two kids as I have two kids. Drew, I have three kids. I, you're right. Two, I'm sorry. Two school age or so. Yes. I, I, sorry, you have, I don't think about your oldest one because I don't, I don't see her very it's often. Yeah, it's fine. I um, feel so like I'm offending you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think you're fine. Look, I didn't uh, stretch out for nothing. So um, I, uh, I don't know what that I don't means. Know. Like the whole body know. stretch, like three times, whatever. What are you talking it's, about? It's a mom thing. When know. you have kids and your old body is like going through. Are you talking about it's, delivery? Well, just all of it. Like you go through Being something pregnant? three times and then you just remember all of them. Oh, so. well, yeah, you oh, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little right. more personal than me. I mean, well, I, yeah, I of see course. what you're saying now. Then, yeah. What's so, well, right, so what's it like to have. Uh, you have your your oldest daughter is graduated. Does mm-hmm. she still live with you? She is yes. now. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and then you have one that's not in kindergarten yet. Right. But in three K, four K. It's like speech. a three K speech. Speech. Okay. So twice a week, and then late into yeah. kindergarten all day. And I gotta tell you, it is heavenly to have her gone every. Day because I've been at home with her every day for the last five years. Oh. Well, so it's, you it's just not, get it's not even really it. her. It's when the two of them are together, they're right. fighting. Oh, yeah. I have a nine year old and a four year old. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. How does ten, that go? Ten and yeah. five year old. They fight all the time. Yeah. Madison's really mean to Ashton. And uh-huh. then Ashton will throw a fit or whatever, and then he'll punch her or something like that. Right. And yep. then. They yeah. get along for about five minutes. Oh, at that's a time. nothing. My three-year-old started getting real mad at me, and whenever uh, he doesn't like what I tell him to do, he started to tell me I'm a fucking poopy mama. A fucking poopy mama. Yeah. My my son calls me a poopy daddy. <laughs> What's with kids he and just the word poop? He just he thinks it's funny poop, though. Like, he, yeah, kid. I think kids love poop. Like it's just funny. Yeah, poop is always good. Stupid Farts. Fucking and now, poopy mama. Now it's so acceptable. Yeah. You got poop mo- emojis and stuff. Like it's all yeah. acceptable. My son always says bro now. So <laughs> like. Uh, today, what do he say? He's like, uh, that's a good one though. That's he's funny. Like, See you later, bro. Like that's what he said to me. Or that's so cute like, when he when he wants to smooch, he'll say, "Kiss me, bro." <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah, that's some of the cute things he says. And then uh, the other day, I was picking my brother up. He's in high school, and there was like a dude walking in front of my car, and he like looked at me, and I was like, "Keep I, what I say." I said. I was like, what the fuck you looking at, boy? And then my son's like, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Which is sad. Yeah. That's amazing. It's you're hard. Like, it's you're like a car full of gangsters. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Raising raisin some real hood rats right now. Watch, watch out for the Glazer vehicle. You better watch out for the door of the Explorer will come out. That's why I call my Explorer. <laughs> that's Dora. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Oh, wow. Yeah, you just open That's the hatch and you all roll out the right. back, ready to kick everyone's ass. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. The Baby Shark song. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like I've known that song way before it was popular. Thank you. Thank you. Like, it's now a big thing. I was like, this where was have like you something been? from four years ago. Right. Yeah. I've known. I've Same known. thing with Blippy. Like, I knew what Blippy was before Blippy, Blippy was a was, thing. I don't know what Blippy is. Oh, no, my gosh. Uh, he's an adult dressed like a bow. I don't know. He's got a bow tie and it's kind of like. Like a spinny hmm. hat. Yeah. He like goes and know. does stuff. He sings a lot of songs. Did you ever watch Yo Gabba Gabba? 
I know what it is. I never really like, yeah, watched no. much. Your kids might have been too young. Yeah. Well, yeah, it yeah, was I more popular in Madison. They had really good bands on there. Yeah, I remember you told me really? that you liked that you enjoyed the bands. The bands. <laughs> and Tony Hawk was on there one time. Taking Back Sunday was on there one time. What's Taking Back Sunday? It's a band. I just saw them last weekend. You seem to see a lot of music. Well, uh, Riot Fest is a three-day music festival all day from one. Did you take the Explorer? One, I did. Your badass and we, tribe. And we drove while well, it was just me and my wife, and then we parked in, like, unsecured parking. It was free, residential, and the where they have the festival is not ideal by any means. <laughs> Why? Where is it? In Chicago. And at Douglas Park in Chicago. It's got a very high it's... crime rate. <laughs> And then people are like, one night or one day, you know, we got there in the afternoon. They're like, oh, I, I watched the cars that you parked, uh, but I'm taking generous donations. I'm like, nah, dude. I'm like, I'm not going to give you money. To, like, watch your car? Yeah. And then I thought was there like was like a security gonna, guard? That, just, that probably just means. No, it was just a person sitting in the park. <laughs> that just means if, if you don't pay me. Yeah, you're breaking then my I car. Will, then I will That's like, what I ruin your car. Yeah. But nothing happened. So okay. we made it out. Made it all, all So how right. many days did you go to this festival? Three. Three. Friday, three. Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Did you drive back and forth every day? No, we got a hotel. So what'd you do with the kitties? My daughter stayed with her mom, and uh, my son stayed with my dad. For three days? Two nights. Friday night, Saturday night, and then we need Sunday, Sunday we picked up. Can I drop my kids off at your dad's house? I want to go to a music festival. <laughs> I don't know if my dad, he, he can handle one at a time, <laughs> one or two. I think that's how my parents are, too, a lot. It's like, well, want to be... Okay, right. and then you ask for two, and they're like, "Okay, how long?" When how did long grandparents be? become so challenged? I don't know. I don't know. It's just hard work raising kids. They already they've already done it. They for, did it. We're not asking to raise it. them, though. We're like, "Oh, we want to go away for the weekend. My, you want to watch them?" My dad's pretty. good I'm not at like dropping them off that, like nine but, months out of a year. Like you take them on the school year, I'll have them on the summer, right. and like we'll figure <laughs> that out. My parents are really pretty good at uh, at watching my kids usually, but in my. Uh, I mean, I got to the point where my, I was watching my sister's kids all the time, and I just wanted to throw myself off a bridge. Because How many, she, two? She's got three. Oh. And then there's times where I had my two. Right. And I got five kids, and You're I'm pretty watching. Pretty much yeah. daddy daycare. Oh, horrible. Yeah. Horrible. That's, That's where you rough. just sit down and you do a podcast by yourself and just drown out the noise. Oh, yeah. Try to. You, you just hear nothing but screaming yeah. and crying yeah. and It'd be amazing. tattles. How is it like that people who are like in-home daycare people are only allowed to watch a certain amount of kids, but then there's other people that have that surpass that just with their own kids. Why is that legal? <laughs> that's I don't know. true. That's a great I don't point. Know. There's some people that have like eight kids and that's yeah, fine, but you can't run a daycare like with more than six. Yeah. Yeah, that's know. a great point. And that's tough too because I don't know how the, the like, daycare uh, can compensate for like the lack of money that they can't bring in because it's right. limited on amount of that's kids. That's true. I don't know. Oh, that's that's a, this is why you got to hire more people. It, yeah, it's a business I don't want to no, into. daycare sucks. Mm -hmm. It really sucks. Well, going back to the Riot Fest, did you go there to see certain bands, or did you yeah. select everybody? No, um, there's there's like five stages, mm -hmm. and they have like uh, a lot of mm -hmm. bands, and you know there's a schedule, so you kind of if there's two bands playing at one time, you kind of have to make a decision on mm -hmm. what you want to see. But there's like they released the, the lineup before we bought tickets, and I was like, yeah, there's a handful, like a, a good amount of bands I want to see. Right. So we went, and then it was fun. Saw Blondie, that oh, was really? weird. Yeah, she's like super old and yeah. tries to be hip, and she's not. Yeah, I just watched her like because she was on the stage next to the stage that I was waiting for her, the next band to play. And then it was like probably like Fish and Dave. No, Matthews, no, not at all. Stuff like that. Like we saw. Um, <laughs> You're not a Fish fan. God no. Drew, I don't think we can. You be like friends. jam? You like Fish? You better. Why? Yeah. It's like a jam band. You rip a sweet, feel, some sweet buds or something. Again. I think she. Well, yeah. she by default, you're not even that old. Like you weren't even. You're not even. You weren't even Drew, around, what? dude. Drew, I'm almost forty. Okay, fish is like fucking eighty three. <laughs> no, fish is like the nineties and today. No, yeah, fish is eighties, nineties. I mean, they were really popular in the nineties and after that, weren't they? <laughs> you're thinking of the Grateful Dead, there, buddy. And they suck too. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. They were They're amazing. They're on the. Uh, you, they all, we all suck to her. I saw um, one time. I saw the Meat Puppets. They're like a jam band. Mm -hmm. Like Nirvana's yep. influenced by them a lot. Yep. And um, I thought the bass player was gonna die mid <laughs> mid set. He looked like he was having a stroke. <laughs> and and there's I don't know I just don't like I don't like jam bands. I like, do. Here's either. a song that we're gonna play for 15 extra minutes. And yeah, sometimes it's cool, but no, nah, dude. Just, Play the tunes. So what do you think about, like, would you go see Led Zeppelin? 
If, if there's For the app. novelty of it. Okay. Maybe. But you're not really into the music? Not really. I like the immigration song. See, I don't really put... I don't. Really, I wouldn't put, like, fish music in the same category as, like, Led Zeppelin music. I agree. They're all hippie. Like, that's all hippie listeners, though. Don't all right. Hippie. Fish is popular. They're, I mean, they're yeah. still, I just, <clears throat> still jamming it out. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you a person who was in... In fish. Trey Anastasio. Yeah, you can't name? either. Yes, I can. That's the only one I know. I don't and know. And like the guy that wears the dresses, what's his name? Oh, there's a guy named Fish. No, there isn't. Fishman or something like that. Oh, yeah, Fishman. Fish fish yeah, Fishman. Fishman. Oh, fish I don't know. know who it is, but I remember like one of them is got yeah. that name. Fishman? Like the fish is in his name. <laughs> I have no idea. Is that your. um? Is that the actual screen, or is that protected as smash? The screen. The screen's actually smashed. Yeah, I had it out of the case, and I dropped it. <laughs> Isn't it the worst? Walking out of the bathroom and just... <laughs> I, I have uh, this tiny... but that, There's a protector on there. Right. And I'm not willing to rip it off and see if that oh, penetrated sure. through or not. I yeah. don't know. I think we'll it's see. all right, though. We'll see. Yeah, I think it's okay. I gotta get a new phone, and... Now the conveniently it broke when the new iPhone's supposed to... Or is it released today, I think. Which one's that? The 6. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm way behind on it. I don't care about We gave up our 6s. She gave, she gave up her 6 a while back. I don't... I just... My 6, I, I liked it. The battery mm-hmm. just would not... So what's sustain. your... Yeah, my battery's falling behind, too. What's your uh, policy on, on phones and... Or not phones, but electronics for your kids? It's just... Um, we... I'm cracking it's, open it's kinda, a different kind of beer. Should we, we talk about it's it? It's kind of really sure, go ahead. policy. I got to um, get the details. It's kind of... Uh, it's going to take a quick pre-break. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a free-for-all. Um, but there's definitely... I disagree. It's a total free-for-all. Oh, I don't... Then why are we hide them? Why do you hide them? Well, I hide them when I think the free-for-all has gotten out of hand. That's what I mean. So and it's, they know it's the hiding total... spot, so now it's just... Them getting it from the hiding spot. Yeah. Now they have to work harder to get it. I, I think I, I, I don't mind like, my kids yeah. using electronic devices because you can learn with them. And there's like there's cool stuff you can I do totally with them. I totally think it causes attention issues for sure, though. Yeah, I could see that. And when they have to give it up, that, like, that causes people. a lot of like... My daughter's pretty good about like She'll like power it a little bit, but then I go, no, you're just done but with the it. the older they get, they're a little, like, I hate to say more reasonable, because right. when they're, like, little, they don't understand the rhyme behind the reason, and so they're just, you know, like, fighting tooth and nail for whatever it is they don't understand. At least when they're nine, you can explain something to them, and they're like, okay, well, that makes sense. Like, you can't explain nothing to a three-year-old or a five-year-old, because they're constantly like, what do you mean? I had to. What do you mean? I recently gave what my son like? the life lesson of how to properly lift the toilet seat up to pee. How old is he? Well, he's four, but he okay. would, um, he's always, he only lifts the one up, mm-hmm. and he pisses all over the fucking... And it just drips everywhere. My yeah. son is still sitting when he pees, and he even it's okay. wipes. It's all right. He's so cute. He's a little more feminine. He's a little more feminine, I would so say. So is my son. Yeah. My son That's likes fine. pink. He, he's getting a hearing aid soon. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah. How did you figure that out? Oh, well, he's born... He failed his oh. hearing test when he was born. Oh, okay. Um, it's just in his left ear, but uh, his hearing is gonna be pink. He nice. picked pink, cute. and then for the mold, it's pink and purple. That's cool. It's gonna stand That's out. Cute. I love it. Yeah. Notice he goes to the Y for four K. Mm-hmm. It's a good program there. I had a um. His teacher's kind of bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes teachers are kind of bitchy. Like she's and like hard to tolerate. Like, I saw her the, before the first day of school, and then, like, I go to pick him up, and she's, like, she wasn't, like, going to give me my son because she you... didn't know who I was. What? Yeah. And I was, like, I was like I'm, real... here, I'm here for Ashton, and she's, like, <laughs> she's like looking at me, and I'm maybe, just, like. Maybe you phrased it wrong. Maybe I'm here for Ashton yeah. was not the right way. <laughs> give me the you're child. Like, you're, like, the Terminator. Uh, Sarah Connor. I'm here, I'm here for Ashton. <laughs> Yeah. And she goes, "Is this like kindergarten cop? What's yeah, going yeah. on here?" But she like, she's like looking at me. I'm like, "I'm his dad," and she's like, "Oh, uh, nice to meet you." I'm just like, "We met yesterday." <laughs> oh, you already met her? Yeah, I met her the day I... before. Oh, I, was okay. like, I was like, "I was here the other day." She's yeah. like, oh, "I met forty families," and I'm like, "Yeah, she probably meets." Okay, family. bitch. Like, just give me my kid so I can roll. <laughs> that's so funny. Did I ask for your attitude, lady? I don't think so. <laughs> just educate my that's kid, where, and set him free. That's where you gotta go. You go look. I'm leaving. 
Yeah. Either he's getting a ride home or he's not. Right. I gotta go. Like they're gonna start doing DNA swabs yeah. at yeah. the local daycare. I, I, like, I, I appreciate their security, but <clears throat> I you just think like, oh yeah, the guy does look familiar. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't know who's kid he is his but i well, know it, it, I saw it's him. some of the times it's, it's so silly like uh like i've taken the kids to like the festival daycare and uh oh, i forgot the tot spot yeah the i forgot spot. they have that so like i'll it's go rocks my socks I'll, I'll leave them and there's, there's one person and i'll come back and pick them up and there's another like a new person maybe mm-hmm. um and uh the kids will come running out and going daddy and she's like well i gotta check the stamps first and i go how many kids do you think or how many people do you think my kids call Daddy, yeah, they just that walk. they come running to any any like male figure. Dad, yeah, right. <laughs> like if that's not a dead giveaway, I don't know what is. <laughs> it's uh, it's interesting, like when you got to deal with like teachers that you don't. As a parent, like you know, I I know how I did it to the teachers as a student. Mm-hmm. How I treated the teachers I didn't like. It wasn't always nice. Right. I I wish I would have. I look back at it and I was kind of a dick. To, yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially to Mrs. Birch from my geometry teacher. She. After, it was her second year of teaching only, and after that year of that class that I was in, she no longer worked at the high school the next yeah. year. I don't know what happened, and I I feel somewhat responsible for it. I remember I had wasn't this, the only one, though. I had this math teacher. Uh, she married the principal. In Wisconsin? I mean, in Wisconsin. Yeah, in definitely Wisconsin. in Wisconsin. <laughs> I still live here. Um, uh, she married... Excuse me, well, I don't have a goddamn married, clue what's going on. She married... Right. Mr. Oh. The principal? They didn't even work for... He's not principal anymore. Well, you know... Oh, we're just dropping names. Yeah, in. I know. He was, though. Should I censor just, that? Just forget it. Yeah, censor him all up. No, actually, I'm, I gotta post this right away because I'm oh. leaving. I'm, um, well, he's a fucking... He used to be a principal. Yep. So anyways, um, she was a math teacher. It's public record. My math teacher. And she, I remember one day she was asking me about something, something I was doing or something she wasn't appreciating. And she goes like, you know, like, why, either why are you doing this or why you, why won't you do this? And I, and I had a moment of honesty and I just go, I look straight in the face. I go, I just don't care. I don't care. <laughs> right. And and I think she kind of was taken back by it. Like, huh. Like, what do you mean like, you don't yeah, care? Yeah, like, huh, why? Like, what's... Right. Like, is there something more to this? Like, and I didn't really have much to tell her. I just didn't really want to do what she was doing. I don't remember, like, all the examples of that I did, like, but I just know I was not, I was not very nice to her. Like, not an ideal I wasn't an ideal. I was pretty ideal for, like, every other class. Like, yeah. I was a good student, but, man, ge- come geometry time, I was just, like, I didn't understand it. Mm-hmm. And she was not teaching me in a way that it stuck with me, so it was very frustrating. And a lot of people like felt that way. She just wasn't a proper teacher. She just wasn't that good. Yeah. And I was like, and I was doing horrible. Yeah. And I, I was a pretty good student, got good grades. And I was just like, bro, like I gotta fucking figure this out. And you're not helping me. And was, I was she? Just, I mean, had she taught it before? It was her second year teaching. Oh, like total? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I, I remember having a teacher that um, I don't think her like her she was you know very good at pre calc. But she had pre calc. All of a sudden, they go, "You need to teach it," and she's like, oh, "Okay." And right. Then all of a sudden, now she's and she's even telling us, "Like I've never taught this before, and they need me to teach it." And blah blah blah. And we're like, "I guess we're all going to figure this out together. <laughs> we're going to learn how we're to all, do this. We're all going to learn pre calc together." <laughs> well, you're a teacher. Yeah, but not pre calc. Yeah, that's that's the hard stuff. How do you? Well, you're at, you're at college level, aren't you? Mm-hmm. So how does that work? Do you create your own lessons or um, so a lot curriculum? Of, uh, sort of, yeah. Um, we 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 have some guidelines, like we follow certain things, like much like uh, K twelve will have like standards that they need to meet. Sure, we follow a lot of like uh, so in the IT in- industry, um, you have Microsoft, you have uh, Cisco, mm-hmm. and they all have like their own standards, their own certifications, and stuff like that. So like a lot of stuff is based on certifications for certain things so like yeah. so like there's a couple classes based on like there's a thing called the a plus certification and that's like working with windows and also like working with computer hardware yeah so there's courses that follow the plan for those certifications mm-hmm. so Gosh, yeah so you kind of have like a a guideline to go off of and then you decide you can kind of make it your own though what, what uh yeah like what what do you think is important that we're gonna need to know all of a sudden there's like flies everywhere I know. Yeah, what's going on here, Candy? What, why you got all these? Well, you're not taking off, are you? You're not taking off, are you? It's from all the dead. You gotta take care of these flies. 
You leaving? You leaving yeah, us? I gotta go to work. Wait, Some people have to make something. money. We got our friend Layton here. Yeah. How you doing? Oh boy, that's a bad. Oh yeah. Let's not do that. The double decker. The coffee over. You might the end up ruining Drew's laptop on that one. It's already ruined. It's okay. <laughs> That's so been hi, shattered everybody. like the phone. It's always yeah. nice, like when other people's kids are like, um, are, are doing things. Calling like, you, things. You can tell you're just like, oh, if I say this, like, oh, and then I just switch mm-hmm. it around. Like, no, it's all right. Mm-hmm. They do that. I do that. Like my parents do that with my kids all the time. Like I want, especially like when uh, like we're at my grandparents' house. So his great grandparents' house. It's oh, she's fine. Um, oh, you talking about that? But uh. <laughs> <laughs> the look of doom, oh, it's gonna fall. But uh, it's not really gonna fall. It might. It might. Mm-hmm. Layton, so so what grade are you in? Let's talk to you a little bit. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. You like it? You learn a lot. What'd you learn today? Is there something you learned about? No eating when we're reading books. No. We, okay, that's a, an important lesson because you might smudge the page a little bit. Mm-hmm. What's what kind of books do you like? Uh. Trolls. Trolls. Uh, trolls? You like trolls? Who else? What's cool. Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat. What what else do you know Pete the Cat? I don't. I'm not oh. familiar. How about Little Blue Truck? Little Blue Truck. You like to read? I wish I knew how to read. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Still trying, right? So, yeah, I'm learning. Yep. Do you think Do you think I, I could join your classroom one day and, and learn how to read with everybody? No. Why not? Because you're too big. Too big? Are you body shaming me right now? <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. Do you make any new friends this year at school? Yeah. Who are some of your Are there friends? any are there any like punks in your class that just are no, just like mean doo doo faces? There no but no there's faces? twins. Twins, huh? There's two sets of twins it, in her class. That's gotta be confusing, huh? Um, Do you know which one's Kelly which? Kendall? Do you know who's who? Yeah, or you gotta kind of guess sometimes. Yeah, I can guess because uh, today they weren't wearing the same things, but their shoes are you know, the same things. How irresponsible of parents to dress twins the same. The same. I agree. Just ridiculous, right? You wouldn't wear the same clothes as your brother, would you? No. No. That would be pretty cool, though. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. This is ridiculous. Yesterday, without intention, I dressed them basically the same, and I didn't you know, even notice. Same colors. Yeah, like they, yeah. she was wearing an orange. Oh, that'll happen. Blue yeah. Pants. But I think you're talking more like identical yeah. outfit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bros, I gotta. It's go. just like it's like some David Blaine, Chris yeah, Angel trick. Sure. Yeah. He what are we back. having for dinner? Oh, all right. What do you want for dinner? <laughs> What's your favorite thing to eat? Pizza. Me too. I like pizza. You gotta be careful though on how much pizza you eat, okay? Where's your you favorite, might, favorite might place turn to into eat? A fatty Where's like your thing? favorite place to eat? Tell Drew. What do you like to eat? You know. Now you're not gonna talk? Nope. We just had a conversation. I don't think. Oh, okay, oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I, oh, I need... jumped the gun a little bit. The Coliseum. Oh, the Coliseum? It's a good My wife used to work at the Coliseum. It's Layton's absolute favorite place. Love. One time I had too much soda. And I took a little snoozer in the kitchen or the Coliseum. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I was waiting I for my it. wife to get off I work. I gotta hear about this. I was chugging Mountain Dew all night long. <laughs> and I got a tummy ache. And I was like, I need to take a nap. So they, <laughs> what they, was in those Mountain Dews, they, Drew? They pulled a nice little chair in the, in the kitchen for me. And I was like, yeah, I'm taking a breather. That is crazy. I walked in through the alleyway door and the bouncer almost decked me in the face. That's a cute we'll, we'll father-daughter right. moment right there. Coming this way? Aren't hugs the best from <laughs> your kiddos? You, they are. I yeah. love them. We're doing the podcast a little differently. This is like... <laughs> Family cast. Real life, like reality. It's like a reality show. It's a reality only, show. Only audio yeah. version. Good luck making dinner tonight. Uh, I guess I'll figure it out. He didn't slip me the tongue for the first time. Maybe we should uh, do this podcast. Well, the last time I was walking in your house, you guys were getting a little fizzy. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Well, what do we have? Tight dinner. hugs. Want to try this? Sure, I'll give it a shot. You want to talk? Should we talk about? It? Let's talk about this other beer that I'm drinking. Yeah, you too. poured that one. You didn't really say much though. So this is a. Uh, how do you? How do you? I am uh, bad at reading. Octopi. Octopi. Octopi brewery. So it is, yeah. the galaxy. Kind of going with uh, Andromeda here. The galaxy. Um, the San Francisco treat. Uh, <laughs> nobody gets that <laughs> except for us. <laughs> um, so this is the Galaxy India Pale Ale. Later birthday guy. Deuces, homie. Thank you. Good luck at your run tomorrow. Thank you. I plan on dominating. 
two hours is my goal. I really think you should just podcast the entire time you're running. So just you put a mic in. Why do I do this? Yes. <laughs> I hate my life. Yes. I'm so stupid. Two someone of, like, someone come find me. I'm dying yeah. right now. This yeah. person can't pass me. <laughs> uh, I must do better. I must do better. I'm right. Better. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you a quick question about running. Okay. This is like, a, like, like come in the full, microphone. Yeah, this is like a full oh. room podcast. So... When I'm at the gym and I'm running on a treadmill, I've okay. never experienced this. The person on, next to you, oh, you can't hear it. No. Okay, so let's start over. So when you're at the gym and you're running next to somebody and right. then somebody's like running like a 5.6 mile an hour like right. jog, and they're at like 1.5 miles and you get out and you look over and you're like, I bet I can catch up to them. Do you do that? Cause I do. um well no because you have to like you have to go super fast if you want to catch up to them and be right. at the same thing but yeah that's what I do uh, I hate running on treadmills that's like motivation who's this lady <laughs> what's her story who isn't she yeah I, I think she's letting her dog pee on your fence I can tell that's you right guys, keep walking I can tell you guys you think this sure. is I look at it. the Glazer oh, clan sorry. comes out <laughs> again see. <laughs> He's so like this guy is he's just get walking. Jeez. Get out of here. But anyways, um, I'm sorry. Uh, I um, uh, I don't like running treadmills because it's um artificial, right? And it's not uh, it's not as good as an exercise as running outside is because the the belt carries your weight versus when you run outside, you carry your weight. So running running five miles on treadmill is not really running five miles. I can run five miles super easily. It t- actually takes me longer well, to run five miles on a treadmill than it does outside because you're at a regulated speed and it's just I don't know but um no I don't I don't like to compete with people I actually prefer to go at the most they don't awkward. know that we're competing I right. go in my head uh, that's a you good... are such a slow runner there's nothing wrong with head. that that's, nothing that's, wrong with okay, that. Okay, that's never crossed my mind. I've never gotten to the gym and go, I need to beat this person. I always do. I'm going to destroy because them. Because it's like motivation to like challenge yourself to like do I, better. Okay, for me, it's more like, this is the first time in eight months I've been here. Right. <laughs> this is going to be rough. <laughs> I think there's a story that for most weird. people, though. <laughs> and then you look over and there's that dude in the shredded tank top and he's like, <laughs> he's like super ripped he's and got, you're like, like man, this got dude. He's speedo shorts on and like yeah. hanging out. He's yeah, like, man. He's like, like bouncing and you're like, put a sports bra down there. Yeah. What should you go wait, to? What? You never see this stuff. Are you talking ever? about a man's <laughs> testicles? Is that what you're <laughs> yes. saying? Sports bra. You see a man in like two sh- two tied of shorts at the gym. No. It's almost like speedo. This is like underwear. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen a, guy, a dude seen a guy in speedos. Like wear the whole thing, you know, like the, the no the leotard wrestling suit. Yeah. <laughs> really? The y, yeah. A singlet? There used to be one. What are you talking about? Going to the y several. I've been going to the Y for almost twenty years. This is now. real and wrestling. There used to be a guy like that for sure. <laughs> That just shows your age. I've been going to the Y for almost yeah. 20 years. 38. I said today, I go, I got a piece of mail. I go, I've been an Eagles member for 13 years. I haven't held a job for 13 years. <laughs> You're an Eagles yeah. member? I have yeah. never what held a what job. What does that entail? When I, when I left Walmart, there was a guy. $75 that, tap beers is what it entails. No, cent. 75 cents. Sorry, 75 yeah, yeah. cents. So you get yeah, beers for 75 right. cents? Tap, tap beers. beers. You just go there or what? Okay, so, so, you, so when you're a member. Right. You okay. get a key. See ya. And I lost that key years ago. Um, you can just tap into their tap beers well, or what? Well, you just walk in and you're a member and there's cheap like drinks, like super cheap drinks. You can get a drink for like a couple bucks or a beer. All right. Or a beer. For I've a been beer. to the Eagles Club like just for like a wedding and then... It affords um, it affords me that I can... My friend's dad's funeral I can was there. I can do that. Okay. Like, so if I have a family member funeral I can, can I can be there? A funeral, yeah I can have okay. a wedding whatever they're like you huh. can get married as much as you want here. Hmm. come here as much as you want for weddings there you go <laughs> no but yeah it, it affords me to be able to um, like it's not a big deal but like if I wanted to go there and play poker for money no one's coming in there <clears throat> busting down the door and uh, not, really. not that anyone is doing that at your house mm-hmm. but no one you can't come in there unless you know the police have been called. Is that illegal to, to have poker at your house? Yeah. For gambling, yeah. Yeah, but you're not... The house isn't profiting. I, th- I think it's like if... I if, thought if, that changed a while back. If the house isn't profiting, you can do it. Like, if it's straight, like... So, I think a bar can have... Because there's a bar in North Fond like that has poker tournaments every weekend, every week. See, I think that changed and they, a little bit. And they profited off of it, but you're not supposed to profit off it without, like, the official license. I think that changed a little bit because <clears throat> when you do, like, um... Like, uh... 
football pools, like right. numbers and stuff. Um, you know, that was always like a big deal. Like people didn't want to hold the responsibility that like um, we're going to get busted or I don't want to be responsible for this. Right. And and I think I thought something changed. I don't know for sure, but I thought it changed. Like if you're not taking up house profit, it's fine. Yeah. Like you like the way you make money off of it is off the drinks and the food and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Own, and that's fine. I don't own a place, but I, I imagine, yeah, right. Um, it's it's, it's the, the the socialization and spending money. I remember um, there was a place in North Fond du Lac, and we, were, we used to go there every week when we were like eighteen, nineteen, and we were going there poker tournaments and stuff like that. And uh, it was a, a lot of people were there. One time, I took like sixth place. Yeah, and it wasn't too bad. And uh, one time, there was a guy who's a huge like jerk, and um, my friend accidentally um, turned. The turn like card, made a move, yeah, right before before all the bets were placed, and then like you know they made a decision based off that, and the guy was like such a, like a, just a a hole about yeah. it, and I was like man like just calm down like yeah. this isn't like high stakes poker you you put twenty bucks into us and but even if it happens it happens it wasn't intentional him, right you know to like do something negative to him it just yeah. happened I found out like I frequently fall down on like poker rabbit holes I love playing poker do you play so, online or real I used to play on on full tilt before I got investigated by the IRS mm-hmm. and the FBI and all that stuff so but uh, otherwise me and my buddies used to play like, every week not it's, anymore it's, it's re- yeah it's really um, dropped like it's fizzled down yeah like we used to um Oh, someone else is here now. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold oh on my second. god! Did he come here it's a popular like place. Yeah. No. We're back from a stranger approaching the house, and uh, <laughs> we we got rid of him, so he's gone. But uh, we got to wrap this up in a little bit. I actually have to go soon. Do you? Yeah, I got. Oh, yeah, because you're. I got to pick up my packet by seven. I got to drive to Milwaukee, so I got to. All right. Do you have um, like a friend or family in Milwaukee you're staying with? My friend. Yeah. Uh, my friend uh, Kevin, he's running because he's a pussy. Mm-hmm. He's running uh, the 10k tomorrow, so that's uh, six points. It's like a, it's two 5k, so it's like six point two eight. How far are you going? Thirteen point one. Okay. So you can't convince him to switch it. I tried to, but he's he he just well he hasn't like trained for it or anything like that. He's actually ran more miles than I have this year. Yeah. But I just run longer distances than he does. Right. So it'll be fun. But we'll have to do this again. This is finally. This is like every week. I think we feel we have the same yeah. conversation. Hey, you want know a podcast? Yep. And then it's oh, I got this going on <laughs> or yeah. something like that, and we can't. Yeah. So it's a, this is a pretty kind of a last minute one, and I'm glad we did it though because I'm going to post it in like five minutes. It was funny. I'm post it from this table. It was all right. Yeah, yeah. it was a good one. Yeah. How do um, you feel about it, listeners? Let me know. Unless it's negative, then I don't care. Yeah. Have you tried this elderberry or no? E is for every E is for elderberry. No. Have you tried it. Let's see what you think. Ooh, it's sour. So this is a... How do you pronounce it? Ghost? Ghost. Ghost. So that was the pickle beer I had. It was a ghost. I'm pretty sure it's ghost. But this one's a little nicer than that. I like sours. You know, I'm not going to be honest. I've had some that are like really nasty. Do you have other ones that are more than one more canned? Yes, The next one one that can be like our... This can be our future one. What do you mean? Like a different one? Right. The next episode. I have the same one. Yeah, I'm saying the next episode we do, this can be like oh, our future one. Oh, this will be the future one? Oh, okay. right, right. Okay. Um, we'll just let people know. Evil evil Twin Brewing. Yeah. We're drinking another sour and it's good. We'll talk about more at a different time, though. Sure. Another opportunity. Yeah. You know. Next week. Yeah, I think I... Are you done Are you done with uh, uh, overtime for the month? Is it once a month? No, overtime is kind of like... Whenever, uh, yeah, there's up. like certain rules with it, but um, I I might have to work overtime next week. I don't know though. Well, actually, I, I I don't think I have to. I did say I did agree to fly the stupid ass drone at a high school sports game mm-hmm. coming up. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Which game? Uh, the high school game, like Fondy. You're right. Okay, so I'm flying the drone there, and that starts at like how, seven. How are they? Um. I have no Do you know idea. how they're doing? I have no idea. I know they beat Kimberly. They beat Kimberly. That was a big deal. Was a big deal. They were like... On a local level, there was a high school sports team uh, in the area that's been undefeated for like three years. They're like 900 and 0. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> uh, and then no, our they, team just they, beat they were, they were like, uh, like 
I they've won the state. They've like won the 40 state games in a row. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They've won the state mm-hmm. three or four times in a row. And yeah, it's a big deal. I didn't care. I don't care too much, but to hear the school we went to sure. beat them is kind of you neat. went to you went to Fondy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we don't yeah. call it Goodrich, but on oh, Goodrich, yeah, same yeah. same school, right? Right. Just different building. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so I have to do that, and then um, I'm DJing a homecoming on sad next week Saturday. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's gonna be horrible. Yeah, a bunch of little prepubescent children no grinding alcohol. on each other. Yep, no free beers. That's true too. I, you know, it'd be much more enjoyable if I could sneak a brewski yeah, in there. Beer, I probably yeah. could. Yeah, just bring like a water bottle, but like a thermos. Or something. I feel like that's very irresponsible to yeah to, to go well, to school. Well, and especially if they found out, someone would be pissed. <laughs> I'd, I'd get in trouble for sure. Yeah. So, um, our uh, our future beer that we had was the uh, Mobcraft Cherry Andromeda IPA with cherries, coconut, lactose, and galaxy hops from Milwaukee. It wasn't bad, but I it wouldn't wasn't dump it. I wouldn't right, dump it. Right. But I wouldn't well, go not picking it pursue up it. Yeah. yeah. So, sure. like, I, I finished it. I drank it. Yep. And it was fine. Mm-hmm. But nothing stuck out. Yeah. Like, you yeah, know. It wasn't like, oh, this is great. Yeah. And I'm a big IPA fan. So, I don't know. It didn't. It, it lacks the. I didn't really get any of the cherry, coconut, or lactose taste. So, maybe we'll do what you did last time and we'll, <laughs> we'll rate it on Untapped and they'll reach out to you. Ask us, <laughs> ask us what, 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 what they can do better. Sure. Wait, I can do that. I'll do that. We'll do it. So and then, and then we'll follow if they reply and stuff. I can get it going. We'll we'll follow up on right. another time and talk about what happened. Yeah, you guys can hit me up on uh, Untapped. I think it's I think I'm Dudes with Brews is my name. I forget. I have so many screen names. It's unreal. You do have Twitter a at Dudes on a Porch. Instagram probably Dudes on a Porch maybe or Dudes with Brews Pod. I don't know. It's on there. Check it out. Can I can I give my Untapped? Yeah, go ahead. You want uh, people to add you like those two dudes that like. Uh, that, that just sh- instantly, yeah. Like, still, sh- um, they've been a little bit lazy lately, mm. like the last couple of weeks. As but, soon as you post it, they toast you. Yeah, they they're usually right on. How do I find my name? Where is that? I don't know. It's your screen name, bro. I thought you knew. Account. That would probably be it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, when you go, when you look at like your profile or whatever, it should say your name. Yeah, I don't see. Let me see. Pass the phone here. I don't see the actual like. You your know. C H A Y W A R D seventy nine. Okay. Che word or sure. or C Hayward. Sure. Seventy nine. That's fair. Oh, my mom's calling me. <laughs> Let's do Hold this. On. Let's do this. All right. Hello. Hey, happy birthday. Oh, thanks, mom. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm about to. I'm recording a podcast and then I'm going to uh, Milwaukee. Okay. Well, I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I meant to call you this morning, but I forgot on my way to work. I didn't forget it was your birthday. I just forgot. I'm, I'm, yeah, sure. Sure, you forgot. You forgot <laughs> no, just to call I me. I forget. I put, put it out on Facebook early this morning. Yeah. So. You had that <laughs> scheduled, remember. didn't you? Huh? You had that scheduled, didn't you? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Mom, who's your who's your favorite kid of the three of us? I do not have a favorite child. Why not? <laughs> if you had to pick, if 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 you had to pick just one, who <laughs> who would? I love you all the same. I don't have a favorite that's one. That's a. That's that's not true. That's impossible. That is true. <laughs> it's impossible. You have to like one of us a little less than the other ones. No, <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> Who's the most like when you when you gave birth? Who was like the one here? Just like this is a good looking baby. <laughs> who's the most annoying? Who's the? Who's Are you th- putting me on the radio? Really? <laughs> it's a podcast, Bob. Get it right. Yeah, a podcast. Yeah. No. Are you? I don't know. You guys were all beautiful babies. I only have beautiful no. Children. That's what a lot of people say that mom and I've I've seen some pretty horrendous looking children stinkers well you have to admit now you've seen all your your sisters and your brothers and yourself baby picture you guys were all very beautiful babies okay I I have seen some ugly babies but Julia was pretty rough when she came out (laughs) no she wasn't (laughs) (laughs) she wasn't yeah how was uh how was Brett's babysitting experience? You know what he did? He let yeah, he let Ashton come in my room and just hang out with me till six Are you o'clock. Kidding? No. Oh I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I, I didn't get any sleep. And now I gotta pay the kid, too. Well, I, why don't you talk to him and tell him you can't let Ashton come in? I mean... Well, he gets all pissy I, then. Huh? He gets all pissy, and like a 15-year-old well, kid does. I know that he is that, but I mean... Uh, because I, I asked him, I said, how did it go? And he said it was fine. And yeah, I'm it's like, fine because okay. because for the majority of the time, he was laying by me. Oh, goodness. Jeez. Well, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Can you slap him in the face for me? Well, <laughs> I could, but... <laughs> you should. I can talk I can talk to him, and he'll just give, he'll get, he'll give me attitude, just but that's punch him, I'm used to that. Punch him in the fucking head for me. Yeah, I, I didn't know that he did that. It's all right. It wasn't. I, it wasn't too bad. I, I mean, I called him when I got done with work and said, "How's it going?" And he's like, "Fine." And it was really quiet. And I go, "It's Ashton. Did he go? He's on the tablet, but he didn't say he was going to be Yeah. Well, I don't know what time he came in. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Ashton let yeah. me sleep, so. Yeah. Well. All right. I don't know, but you know, the fifteen-year-old attitude and. It's horrible. Was I wasn't like I that when I was fifteen, was I? Not quite as bad as him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I think I was. A no, little bit. you guys. I mean, the thing is that I had to. I mean, you guys had to do everything for yourselves by then because I was working six days a week and right. Curtis was working. Yeah. And Bert's kind of gotten spoiled because yeah. Curtis is always home. And spoiled little so bitch. Home. That's what he is. He needs a good ass so kicking. <laughs> Old fashioned, just know. spanking with a belt. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, he, and he just thinks he knows it all. He thinks he's grown up. and he's, I know. He's just a little awakening. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Well, oh, and so you're running tomorrow. Good luck with that. Thank you. Is anyone running with you, or are you going doing it yourself? Uh, my friend's running the the 10k, but I'm not. But I'll be by myself. Okay. Mm-hmm. I bought Who these things. Are you staying at? At Kevin's. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, all right. Well, I'm sorry. Like I said. I mean, I can say something. If you no, want. you don't have to. It's fine. I'll take but, care of it the next time I see him. Yeah, I mean, if he's not gonna watch him, then he shouldn't expect to get paid, though. I mean, I'll pay him. It's fine. Well, that's uh, that's just my opinion. He doesn't want it. Yeah. Okay. Well, All I gotta right. I gotta go. All right. All right. Have a good birthday, honey. Yeah. Thanks for giving birth to me 28 years ago. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. We're done. That's perfect. <laughs> pew, pew, audio. Goodbye, everyone.